Okay, so hello guys and welcome to today's video. Now I know I ain't been here for a while, but anyway, I'm here now. Alright, so today's video I'm going to be teaching you how to play You Are God Alone by William McDowell. It's a nice, beautiful worship song. So just let's get right into it. Okay, so now that we're here, um, how do we learn songs? So I already have a video on how I go about learning songs. And I'll link in one of the cards above, will also be in the description box down below. So the first thing we like to do is we want to listen to the song a couple of times. When you listen to the song a couple of times, number one, it's going to help you to know like or it will, it will help you to become more familiar with the melody of the song number two you will know what the order of the song is so those are the main two things of why we listen to the song a couple of times before we even get to the bass at all so when you listen to the song a couple of times you know the order you will know okay is it an interlude the verse chorus verse 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 chorus chorus bridge bridge chorus chorus bridge stuff like that and then the melody part will allow you to just to vaguely have an idea of what notes are being used in the song. So those are the main two reasons why we need to um, listen to the song a couple of times first before we even get to instrument at all. Then now, once we do grab our nice beautiful basses, the first thing to establish is what's the key of the song. When you know what the key is, you already know the pattern in which you're moving and you already know the direction where you're going. So, we already know, or if you didn't know, the key of this song is G. Now, one thing to note, if you tune standard, my bass is tuned different. I tune my bass a whole step down. So, your G would be here, but this is F for me because I tune a whole step down. So, everything, because I tune a whole step down, everything moves towards the uh, bridge by two semitones so my g is here so please don't let that confuse you um all i'm doing is showing you the notes on how to play the song in terms of how you play the song on your own particular bass that all depends on you all right okay so let's get back into the song so uh, we have the song in g and um i'm going to be teaching songs in number system by the way um i always teach using numbers is it's a bit more difficult for me to be calling um, notes one at a time. So if you're unfamiliar with the number system, that's not a problem. I got you covered. I also have a video on the number system. And while we're talking about the number system, if you're new to playing the bass at all, I actually have a whole course on how to get started playing bass. It's called Bass for Beginners. It's on the channel. It's also in a playlist so you can watch it all systematically. There's also PDFs along with the relevant videos where it's necessary so that aside from having the videos to watch, you also have something to look at um, to help your understanding, which will make things a lot better for you. So all those resources are all there. Um, and yeah, it's going to be a good lesson. Anyway, so back into the song. So now just going to go into the interlude. So we're going to take each part separately learn one part, learn the next part, learn the next part, you have the whole song, you play it once and then we're done. So let's go into it. Okay, so that was, the in that was the intro, yeah? So, let's break it down. So, the intro starts on a fire sharp, alright? So, as I said, my bass is tuned down a whole step. So, where I might play these notes, it may not be the same 
place that you play these notes so please do bear that in mind if you play here if you tune standard and you play here you're playing in the different completely different key all right so so this is how i would play so you start on the five sharp six seven one three four two one sharp two seven six seven one two three four four five six six seven one all right so now i'll play without me talking all right so the intro so now I'll just call out the notes no play so five sharp six seven one three four two one sharp two seven six seven one two three four four five six six seven one all right now we're going to the verse So that's the verse. So now let's go over it. So the first house on the one. One, one, four, four, one, one, four, four, one, seven, six, four, one, five, six, five, four. So that's it, yeah? So now I'm gonna play the verse, no talking. So that's the verse. Now let's go look for the chorus. Oh no, sorry, I haven't said the notes. I mean the yeah. So uh, the verse is one, one, four, one, four, one, seven, six, four, one. Five, six, five, four. All right, on to the next part of the chorus. So, on the second verse, just before the chorus, actually, on the six, five, four, is it's like a bit of a build up, you know, on the four part. So, just build you into the chorus. Then now we got the chorus. So we've heard the chorus. So now let's play. So one, one, seven, 
So now, what notes are they? So it's one, seven, six, five, four. One, seven, six, five, four. So that's the chorus. And then just right after that, there's a little interlude section. So we'll hear that right now, okay? That's right. All right. So it goes like this one, three, four, one, three, two, one, three, four, four, five, six, six, seven. So now I'll just play it, no talking. Alright, so, oh, now let me say the notes in it. Okay, so one, three, four, one, three, two, one, three, four. Four, five, six, six, seven, one, bam. So that's that part. And then the chorus repeats itself. And you, I mean, the the notes for the verse, I mean, the chords, yeah, the notes for the verse repeat themselves as for verse two. Um, and then we have the bridge. All right, so let's look for the bridge. <laughs> So, as you just heard, that's the bridge. So, the bridge is basically the same as the chorus, in all honesty. Um, I don't think the notes change much or they don't change at all. So, let's go over it. So, one, seven, six. player did a lick as well so that lick is one two three three two one six five two one seven all right so that's that lick and then the song modulates so when it modulates right so remember when we're playing the bridge yeah it ends on the four so when you want to modulate the modulation key it goes from g to a flat or g sharp whichever name you like to call it you call it that one it all sounds nice to me so it goes from g to g sharp so by the modulation notes right it goes from the four of g to the five of G sharp or A flat. Then it 
we're going to the chorus again, all right? So I'll model that for you real quick. So, So then now, that's that part, all the bridge and chorus is all the same, but there's only one little difference in the bridge now, which I'm going to play for you. So towards that part, right, what you will realize is that the notes for the bridge we played before it changes. Before we were playing one, seven, six, five, four. Now we're gonna play six, seven, one, three, four. So six. No, sorry, wrong key. So now we're playing in G sharp or A flat. So six, seven, one, four. Now what you just heard there was another part where they do like this so what that is yeah so we're going to be playing octaves right so if you have your six and then you play the octave so you know right here two frets before you're going to put your your middle finger there and then you're gonna hammer on to the octave then do the same for the seven then one you do like this so you play the one five and the upper one had a nice little lick at the end there so let's go over that so that lick is this three two one seven six five four all right so those are the parts of the song what we're gonna do is we're gonna go for the song from head to toe real quick, all right? So, from the intro in G. I'm sick, I'm going into the chorus right now. You Bridge. 
Into the chorus, yada 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 yada. yada. Then now the bridge in this key is. So, that's how you play the wonderful and beautiful song called You Are God Alone by the legend, Pastor William McDowell. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please like, share and subscribe. Drop a comment down below if you found the video easy to learn. And um, if you want to suggest any other songs you'd like to see me play or to teach you, Drop it down in the comment box down below. I'll be sure to check it out and I'll reply to every single beautiful and nice comment of yours. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you soon.